delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is DepEd TV. Tarana! Hello, senior high school students! Welcome to Lantau Compre, our school on air through television. This is another episode of television-based instruction of DepEd Division of Tagum City. Featuring the Housekeeping Alternative Delivery Mode module on cleaning public areas, facilities, and equipment. I am your teacher, Teacher Alan M. Basco Jr. from Tagum City National Comprehensive High School. Join me today in determining what are the specific tools and equipment to be used in maintaining a safe and secure environment. Living under the new normal because of our current situation, everyone keeps on striving amidst the pandemic COVID-19. It is a must that we establish our place to be clean in order and to have a virus-free surrounding. In line with this, let me help you in achieving the required learning outcome for this week's lesson under Module 6 that is to select and set up equipment and materials. May this course be the source of information that will enable you to acquire the knowledge, skills, and technique required in cleaning public areas, facilities, and equipment. For this episode, you are expected to demonstrate understanding of cleaning different premises using appropriate tools and equipment following the safety and security standards. Before we head on to our discussion, let us find out how far do you know about the topic. Prepare your paper and pen and then open your module for our very short pretest in Let's Try. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Question number one. It is an equipment that is used to eliminate loose soil and dust particles from carpet surfaces and other hard surfaces. Letter A. Floor polisher. Letter B. Carpet sweeper. Or letter C. Vacuum cleaner. And the correct answer is letter C. Question number two. It is considered as universal solvent. Letter A, alcohol. B, water. C, liquor thinner. And the correct answer is letter B. Question number three. It is a standard procedure in all premises that cleaners wear this protective equipment when cleaning and handling chemicals. Letter A, apron. Letter B, gloves. Or letter C, goggles. And the correct answer is letter B. Question number four. Romeo is tasked to clean the carpet by using vacuum cleaner. 
help him sequence the following steps. First, check the filter bag before using the vacuum. Second, plug and turn it on. Third, check the main cable for damage and tear. Fourth, clean the vacuum and its part after using. Letter A. First, second, third, fourth. Letter B. Second, first, fourth, third. Or letter C. Third, first, second, and fourth. And the correct answer is letter C. Question number five. A cleaning agent that is not ideal for cleaning the toilet bowl for it will destroy the polish. Letter A, detergent. Letter B, muriatic acid. Or letter C, liquor thinner. And the correct answer is letter B. Great job, learners! Now, let me ask you, are you familiar what are the necessary tools or equipment to be used in cleaning? Yes, I know you are. You can just easily cite one. But, you must know that it's necessary to select the right tools and equipment to be used depending on what premises you are cleaning. In housekeeping department, safety and proper measures in cleaning should be given a prime concern. It serves as the center of function of the hospitality establishment, such as hotel, resort, inn, condominium, dormitory, and hospital. Their reputation and patronage will be given at stake if safety and proper measures in cleaning are not given prior attention. It is most essential to hospitality business to have their premise as appealing, tidy, organized, and aesthetically pleasing. It is very important as well to give utmost care to the guests for them to enjoy, feel safe and hygienically comfortable and now, most importantly because of our present situation. You should be responsible in maintaining the cleanliness, security, and safety not just in workplace but even in your home. Cleaning public areas with their facilities and equipment plays a major task in housekeeping as it depicts the image of hospitality establishment. When we say public area, it is one of the main parts of a lodging establishment that is readily available for all guests or customers to enjoy such as lobby, restaurants, bars, outlet shops, elevators, public toilets, corridors, gardens, swimming pools, gymnasiums, play areas, and car parks. When it comes to facilities, they are products and services provided to the guests such as furniture and fixture that gives comfort to them. While equipment is considered as the most important items that can be used by both customers and staff, such as leisure machinery, gym equipment, pool equipment, and other items that is available within the public area. So, are you all set and ready to learn? Let us then start to be equipped more in cleaning public areas, facilities, and equipment by defining and understanding its description, usage, and functions, and to keep each item with their standard precautions and maintenance. Let us begin with electrical cleaning equipment. These are machine equipment that requires heavy and strong motors to operate cleaning. Number 1. Vacuum Cleaner A dry vacuum cleaner is used to eliminate soil and dust particles in dry surfaces, carpets, and upholstered furniture. In maintaining it, you should check an empty dust bag before and after using. After using, clean and put at one side of the trolley. Number 2. Hydro Vacuum Cleaner Wet and dry vacuum cleaner is also called as all-purpose vacuum, as it could be used on both wet and dry surfaces. 
You must remove dust bag. Wet vacuum cleaning is needed. After using, empty and keep it dry. Put at one side of the trolley. Number 3. Carpet Sweeper It is a vacuum-like used to pick up dirt and particles from the carpet in a quick and easy operation. Do not use in wet areas and empty the hopper and clean the filters to avoid air pollution from fugitive dust. Number 4. Carpet Extractor This extractor is ideal to use when the carpet is extremely soiled as it penetrates to the inner surface of the carpet and extract embedded soil or dirt. Do not exceed machine's temperature at 5 degrees Celsius. It may lead to cracking of pump. Don't forget to empty, clean brush, and dry immediately to avoid proliferation of bacteria. Number 5. Carpet Dryer It is also called a carpet blower. It is a high-velocity fan that is used for drying carpet. Keep it away from any obstruction when operating to avoid overheating and let the machine motor cool before storing. Number 6. Floor Polisher It is also called Floor Buffer. It is used to polish or buff the floor surfaces. It also filter and suck the dirt. It is highly recommended to change the filter and remember to remove driver pad before storing. Number 7. Pressure Washer it is used to pump with force high pressure through concentrating nozzle to check wide surfaces quickly and easily. It is a gas engine or electrically powered equipment. You must check wire cords and nozzle every use. Next are hand tools and materials for cleaning. These are manual equipment or tools that require extra effort and self-engaging cleaning service. Number 1. Floor Mop There are different kinds of floor mop. First is dusting mop. It is used to clean polished floor. Second is polishing mop. It is used for buffing the floor surfaces. Third is washing mop. It is used to wash the floor for sealing or resealing. It is essential to diligently sanitize mop to avoid proliferation of bacteria. Maintain presentable and clean mop head. Keep it dry. Store mop properly and replace when needed. Number 2. Mop Wringer It is used to remove excess water from mops to dry the floor quickly and it also removes excess water from mops to dry the floor quickly. Number 3. Floor Window Squeegee This is used to remove excess water or cleaning solutions from the mirror or glass surfaces. Keep with moistened surface to preserve it. Start cleaning from top to bottom and check rubber for brittles. Number 4. Brooms Soft broom is for sweeping fine surfaces, while thick broom is for sweeping hard surfaces. Do not use soft broom in wet surface. Keep brooms clean and dry. Number 5. Cob Weber It is used to clean areas which are difficult to reach because of its long frame such as ceilings. Keep the Cob Weber's head out of foreign objects, store them when it's already clean and dry. Number 6. Dust Pan It is used to collect dust and dirt from the surfaces. Number 7. Caution Sign It is a warning sign that alerts people from potential hazard. This should be kept along with the trolley. One must be vigilant in putting them to avoid with potential hazard. Number 8. Bucket It is used to haul or transport water for cleaning. Also for mixing chemical solution. Some has wheels for mobility and keep it along with the trolley for easy access. 
Number 9. Public Maintenance Trolley or Room Boys Trolley It is used to transport or carry cleaning materials and supplies for cleaning. This is very important for easy access of all needed materials for cleaning. Maintain cleanliness of trolley and replenishing its supplies as needed. Thorough cleaning must be done once a week or more and to put oil on its wheel for smooth mobility. Remember also to keep this at the corner to avoid traffic. Number 10. Caddy It is used to organize cleaning supplies and materials in easy access for cleaning. Keep it safe because it contains chemical agents for cleaning. Store it along with trolley. Number 11. Hand brush It is used for hard surfaces corners to take away stains and dirt with the use of cleaning chemicals. Beware of corrosive chemicals and abrasion. Do not immerse on the cleaning water for a long time and keep it clean and dry. Number 12. Toilet Bowl Brush It is ideally designed for cleaning toilet bowl. Disinfect with bleach after use. Keep it dry and don't leave it with other materials or it will contaminate other devices. Number 13. Grouting Brush it is used to remove dirt and grime from spaces between tiles. It is made of hard bristles, steel, hazard on frictions. Number 14. Dusters. It is used to take away dust, especially on furniture and fixtures. Once used, it should be taken outside and shaken to release the dirt. Number 15. Garbage receptacles. It is a waste container to gather garbage temporarily and dispose in proper place. It should be clean and presentable. This should be emptied daily and must keep this dry and clean to avoid contamination. Number 16. Tong It is a type of tool used to grip objects instead of using bare hands. This is to avoid contamination from foreign objects that may contain harmful germs. Number 17. Portable Stairs It is a portable ladder used for high-level purpose cleaning, helps to reach things, fold and keep it at the storage room for safety so that it may not cause hazard and traffic. Number 18. Potty Knife or Scraper it is used to scrape stubborn dirt and stains from the floor surface. Beware of blunt side because it could be hazardous and prone to cause cuts. Number 19. Scoring Pads There are two parts in scoring pads. One is a green pad. It is used to scrub hard surface. The other side is yellow. It is used to clean fine surfaces. Do not soak it for a long time or germs might proliferate. Keep it clean and dry. Number 20. Dusting Cloths It is ideal to use for dusting as it attracts dust and dirt on the cloth. Wash cloth every other use with soap. Number 21. Polishing Cloth It is a fine cloth used to remove tarnish from silver and metals. Make sure they are thoroughly washed, disinfected, and dried properly between tasks. Number 22. Cleaning Towels It is used for wiping and drying surfaces. Use light colors for low risk level of cleaning and red colors for high risk level. Also, make sure that they are thoroughly washed, disinfected, and dried properly while using it. Number 23. Insect Sprayer Serves as container to spray various chemicals. It is very useful tool for everyday cleaning. Keep it safe as it contains various chemicals. Secure it in a storage cabinet to prevent hazard. Number 24. Oiler It is used to help apply oil on hinges and prevent rust and squeaking sound of doors. Use sparingly and wipe excessive oil as it may cause stain and may result to further damage. 
I know you are all well acquainted with that equipment since they are available even in your own home. This time, let us move on to cleaning chemicals. These are chemicals that generally in the form of natural or synthetic substances which considered as critical aids for the housekeeping staff in cleaning process. Bear in mind that potential hazard is at stake if not taken to a serious and responsible usage. Next are the basic common chemical agent that can be easily found around us. We have water. It is called the universal solvent because it can absorb more chemicals than any other liquid. Detergent. It is a cleaning agent that helps extract dirt and grease from porous surfaces like cloths, clothing, untreated wood, and or non-surfaces like metals, plastic, treated wood. Both detergents are made primarily of soaps and surfactant. Alkaline cleaners. A common alkaline cleaning agent is bleach, pH 12, and ammonia, pH 11. Sometimes, dispersants are applied to the alkaline agent in order to avoid redeposition of dissolved dirt to combat rust. Ammonia. It can be used to clean a variety of household surfaces on its own or as an ingredient in many household cleaning products, from tubs, sinks, and toilets to bathrooms and kitchen, countertops, and tiles. Disinfectants are chemical agents to destroy microorganisms on inner surfaces. It cannot kill all the microorganisms. Deodorants. It is a substance used to absorb or remove offensive odors such as hydrogen peroxide, iodine, and iodine derivatives. It kills microorganisms induced odors. Abrasives. It scratches dirt, stains, and tear off physically through friction as you rub a surface. These are either made of particles or hard abrasives such as sandpaper, steel wool, and pads for scrubbing. Air freshener. This is one of the example of the deodorizer that helps eliminate bad odor in toilets, room, and other areas. Liquor thinner. It is a chemical solution that separates or dissolves varnish paint, liquor, oils, grease, and other strong adhesive content. It is used for dissolution, dilution, and cleaning of basic liquors. Vinegar. It is one of the examples of organic chemical that can be used for homemade cleaning solution. Example is when cleaning a mop. Use a solution of one half cup of distilled vinegar to a half gallon of warm water. Change water as it gets dirty. Muriatic acid or hydrochloric acid is a strong acid that is not ideal to use for a polished material due to its corrosive characteristics. Solvent It is a substance that may be in form of liquid, gas, such as methyl ethyl ketone, toluene, acetone, isopropyl alcohol. It is ideal for dry cleaning. Because of our current situation, we are mandated to follow safety protocols, not just in hospitality establishments, but in all premises. This is to keep everyone safe and protected by wearing the following personal protective equipment or PPE. They are used to mitigate exposure to hazards that cause serious injury and diseases in the workplace where hazard and risk is everywhere. First is face shield. This is to protect from aerial transmission of virus. It is a wide range of face protection. Always keep this PPE clean by disinfecting it. Second, we have gloves. 
They will protect the hands from friction, abrasion, and harmful chemicals. To guard the hands not to be contaminated. After using, dispose gloves immediately, and if it is reusable, keep them clean and dry. Third, you must wear your gowns or aprons. They are used to protect clothes from getting dirt and stain. Remember to wash them every after use. Fourth, head covers or hard hat. This is used to protect the head when working in areas which are potential for injury. Clean head caps at all times. Fifth is mask. It is utilized for preventing the spread of diseases. It will safeguard you from strong smell of chemicals. Dispose it properly after use if it is disposable one. Sixth is shoe covers. A specialized boot or shoe to protect shoes from getting wet or discomfort. Keep shoe cover unbroken. It may let the water contaminate the foot. Think of PPE as a system support. It may be more physically demanding, slightly uncomfortable, and disturbing while wearing them. But it's better to be confident and feel secure while doing any task than suffer in the end because of recklessness. In preparing the cleaning chemicals, one needs to carefully follow instructions and guidelines from suppliers. Such guidelines are mostly found on packages. Users can get safety information, correct dilution instructions, and what kind of surface the cleaner should be used on. Whenever or wherever you might be in future field, be reminded of the safe use, storage, and disposal of cleaning chemicals. The Occupational Health and Safety Act and environmental standards must be observed specifically when using the processing cleaning chemicals as these chemicals are potentially hazardous to humans. The following steps are the basic outline of how to handle chemicals. Also observe the general rules in the use of cleaning equipment. I expect that you will be accustomed to finding yourself to be more precocious no matter where you are. It is important that preventive measures must exist, especially in the housekeeping industry. And now we are done with our discussion. Let's proceed to our activity. In your paper, write the word true if the statement is correct and write the word false if the statement is wrong. You will be given 5 seconds to answer. Number 1. Mops are commonly used when cleaning fabric upholstery. True or false? And the correct answer is false. Number 2. Remove all cleaning equipment and materials after cleaning. Ensure all surfaces are clean and dry. True or false? And the correct answer is true. Number 3. Do not put a warning sign in a location that has many guests. It might distract the view and the area. True or false? The correct answer is false. Number 4. Chemicals should not be stored in a closed storage room so that the chemical strong smell can circulate with the air. True or false? The correct answer is false. Number 5. You should dust a surface before polishing it. True or false? 
The correct answer is true. Number 6. When preparing to clean the floor using a wet method, ensure that the floor area is free from any furniture or other objects. True or false? The correct answer is true. Number 7. Sanitizing is not recommended and should not be mandatory. It will add to the expenses of the hotel. True or false? The correct answer is false. Number 8. Pressure washing has become a common form of cleaning because it is a simple and reliable process that relies on a motor machine to do the hard work of removing dirt, rather than manual labor. True or false? The correct answer is true. Number 9. All types of cleaning require cleaning of equipment after use. True or false? The correct answer is true. Number 10. Public areas are any location within a hotel such as guest room that all customers have access to and can use the benefit of different facilities and equipment. True or false? The correct answer is false. Well done, senior high learners! This time, you will continue on answering the rest of the activities on your module, particularly on Let Us Practice Activity 1.1 and 1.2. Let us practice more. Let us remember and up to let us reflect. I hope that you have a deeper understanding on what equipment to be used and how each of them functions. Each tool is precisely designed for a specific purpose and choosing the correct cleaning tool, equipment, and materials will also decrease the amount of effort required to get tasks to be done right. And part of this is that you must know how to properly care and maintain cleaning tools by organizing it to be in good working condition. And that's the end of today's episode of Lantau Compre TV School On Air. See you again in our next session. This has been your teacher, Alan M. Basco Jr. Keep yourself abreast for more and be motivated on adhering and practicing standards and safety health protocols even in daily basis. Put in mind that good housekeeping is the key to a safe workplace and it is everyone's responsibility. Be aware that we become of what we behold, we shape our tools, and eventually, our tools shape us.